All right, so in this problem, I have 3 to the power of x plus 3 to the power of x plus 3 to the power of x is equal to 333. So to solve this, I'm going to first start by factoring out 3 to the power of x. So I have 3 to the power of x times 1 plus 1 plus 1 is equal to 333. Now, 1 plus 1 plus 1, that's simply equal to 3. So now I have 3 to the power of x times 3 is equal to 333. Now from here, I'm gonna go ahead and divide both sides by three. So then these two cancel out, and now I have three to the power of x is equal to 333 divided by three, which is 111. Now if I take the log on both sides, I have log three to the power of x is equal to log 111. If I have something in the form log a to the power of b, I can move this exponent b to the front, so this is going to equal b times log a. So in this case, log 3 to the power of x, move x to the front, so then I have x times log 3 is equal to log 111. Now if I divide both sides by log 3, these two cancel out, and I have x is equal to log 111 over log 3. Now, log 111, this is equal to 2.0453, and log 3, this is equal to 0 0.4771. So I have x is equal to 2.04 Five three over zero point four seven seven one. So now this is equal to four point two eight six nine. So this is my answer. Now to check. I have 3 to the power of x is equal to, or sorry, 3 to the power of x plus 3 to the power of x plus 3 to the power of x is equal to 333. x is equal to 4.2869, so I have 3 to the power of 4.2869 plus 3 to the power of 4.2869 plus 3 to the power of 4.2869 is equal to 333. 3 to the power of 4.2869 is, sorry, if you add up all these, you get 333.0369, which is approximately equal to 333. So this is right. All right, so in this problem, I have 2 to the power of x minus 1 is equal to 3 to the power of x plus 1. So I want to find the value of x here. So for my solution, I first start with 2 to the power of x minus 1 is equal to 3 to the power of x plus 1. Now, I'm actually going to take the log on both sides. So now I have log 2 to the power of x minus 1 is equal to log 3 to the power of x plus 1. And if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, move this exponent b to the front. So this is going to equal b times log a. So in this case, I have log 2 to the power of x minus 1. I can move x minus 1 to the front. And log 3 to the power of x plus 1, I can move x plus 1 to the front. So now I have x minus 1 times log 2 is equal to x plus 1 times log 3. Now, if I distribute these two, I have x times log 2 minus log 2 is equal to x times log 3 plus log 3. Now I'm going to subtract x times log 2 on both sides and add log 2 on both sides, or sorry. 
subtract log 3 on both sides. So then these two cancel out, these two cancel out, and I have negative log 2 minus log 3 is equal to x times log 3 minus x times log 2. Now if I factor out x from here, I get x times log 3 minus log 2 is equal to negative log 2 minus log 3. If I divide both sides by log 3 minus log 2, I have x is equal to negative log 2 minus log 3 over log 3 minus log 2. Now, if I multiply both sides by negative 1, I get x is equal to log 3 plus log 2 over log 2 minus log 3. So this is my answer. All right, so in this problem, I have 2 to the power of x squared over 4 to the power of x is equal to 16. So what I'm first going to do is I'm rewrite 4 here as 2 squared. So now I have 2 to the power of x squared over 2 squared to the power of x is equal to 16. I'm going to rewrite as 2 to the power of 4. Now this is the same thing as 2 to the power of x squared over 2 to the power of 2x is equal to 2 to the power of 4. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m over a to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m minus n. So 2 to the power of x squared over 2 to the power of 2x, that's going to equal 2 to the power of x squared minus 2x, which is equal to 2 to the power of 4. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m is equal to a to the power of n, this means that m is equal to n. So in this case, x squared minus 2x is equal to 4. So now if I subtract 4 on both sides, I get x squared minus 2x minus 4 is equal to 0. Now to solve this, I'm going to use the quadratic formula, which is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So in this case, a is 1, b is negative 2, and c is negative 4. So now I have x is equal to negative of negative 2 plus or minus the square root of negative 2 squared minus 4 times 1 times negative 4 all over 2a. So this is equal to 2 plus or minus the square root of 4 minus, sorry, plus 16 all over 2 is equal to 2 plus or minus the square root of 20 over 2. And the square root of 20 is the same thing as 5 times 4. 4 is the same thing as 2 times 2. So this is 2 root 5. So now I have x is equal to 2 plus or minus 2 root 5 over 2. If I divide this by 2, I get x is equal to 1 plus or minus the square root of 5. So this is my solution to this problem.